let me just give you the next exercise. And if then any questions came up, I'm happy to answer them. During a search, how often is the driver frisked? Okay. And let me just, uh, if you didn't notice, what we've got in search type value counts, and sorry, I'll, I'll show the question again in a second, is these protective frisks, okay? And you'll notice that there, if there are multiple search types, they're listed uh, separated by commas, all right? So with that in mind, the question again is, during a search, how often is the driver frisked? So that's the question. It's 2.45, and I may try to come back and do this before the break. We'll see how people are doing. But, um, yeah, let me know while I'm walking around if you have questions. Okay. All right. So during a search, how often is the driver frisked? So uh, many of you seem to have figured out that we need to identify all the cases in which uh, these, um, these search type values contain the string protective frisk. Now, if you were just looking at, um, actually, let me go ahead and show you that. So um, what is the method, sorry, what is the method we would use that a lot of you came up with for searching within a string? String contains. So there are Python string methods, and then there are pandas string methods. And pandas string methods are like a string method you, that you apply across the entire pandas series. So if I say ri dot um, search type, search type dot str dot contains, and then I pass it. Uh, you could you could just do frisk. I did the whole string protective frisk. Okay, what you actually get is um, a lot of NANs anytime search type is missing, and then you get true values anytime there's a match, and you get false values when there's not. Okay, so it's a string method that automatically operates on every element of the series. Okay, so I'm just going to create that as a new column called frisk. And then um, ri.frisk.value counts to see what we got. And you'll see that there are 274 instances of yes, there was a frisk. 29, 22 instances of no, there was not. And then if you were thinking, huh, we were talking about this whole drop NA argument. Um, let's go ahead and make sure there are some NAN values. And in fact, string contains preserves those NAN values. All right. So those are preserved. It didn't say, well, like you could think, well, how should I handle if I check if a string is contained in a null? Well, I know the answer is no, but should I return a false or an NAN? And, and by default, it returns an NAN. I think you can have it return a false instead. But um, what that gets us is now we can just, sorry, um, what that gets us is we can actually just say ri.frisk.sum, and we've got our 274. Those are the true values. And then we say ri.frisk.mean, and we get the percentage of true values. So 8.5% of the time, um, uh, when there is a search, there is a frisk. Okay? If you got a much, I, I could say a lot more about this, but I want to get to the break. So um, if you got a much smaller percentage, you are probably calculating amount of frisks out of all rows. Okay, and the important thing here is I said during a search, how often are they frisked? And you'll, you'll notice that even the mean method is smart enough to ignore the NAN values because if you're not doing the math in your head, and why would you be, we've got computers, you would say, you know, um, 274 plus 2922, okay? So that is that, that percentage that the mean method uh, generated is the same as 
um, the 274 over the falses and the trues. It did not include, it excluded the missing values, okay? So again, pandas excludes missing values by default all over the place, okay? Um, I'll uh, let you guys go. The lessons I had for this one is just um, using string methods. If you're looking, if you're working with string data, you should be using string methods in pandas. Um, make sure you've got the right denominator when you're calculating rates. Okay. Um, pandas calculations ignore missing values, and then when you get your results. You always use the smell test, look at it and say, does this seem about right? Like, does this make sense in the real world? And if not, check your code, okay? So it's 3.02 now, and we'll start back right at 3.20. But go ahead and go to break, and I will mostly be in here, and I can answer questions during the break, okay?